In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to convert a GenBank file to a FASTA file using Python. So we will use the BioPython package. In order to pull this tutorial, you need to make sure that you have installed the BioPython package, this Python library here. All right. Just make sure to install it. I have tutorials that show how to install Python packages. So check the description box, you'll find links to those videos. So the instructions for doing that can be found on this page and I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So there are two approaches. You can either use this or this, but in this tutorial, I will just use this one here because it's um, shorter. I mean, there, there are fewer lines here. And for this one, if you want to use this approach, then you need to have BioPython 5, BioPython 1.52 or later. Yeah, it's stated here, 1.52 or later. All right. So that's what you need to have. So just make sure you have that version. Or if you have an older version, use this one. But for this tutorial, I repeat, I will use this approach. All right. Now we will download an example data from here. It will start with this one here. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. And by the way, I've already covered this tutorial here in another video. So if you are interested, you can check the description box. The link to that video is there. So when you are here, scroll down a bit to where you have get your data. And then there is a GemBank file here that we will use, this one here. All right, so I want you to download it. All right, so I will download mine and use. So I will just open the link. And then I will download it. Okay, so I have downloaded a file. So this is the file. All right, this is a GemBank file that I'm going to use. So now that I have it, I need to also open my Python environment. So with the Python environment, there are different ways. I mean, there are different um, environments you can use. You can even use the terminal. Okay, open Python. So I'll type Python to open it to get my interpreter. You can also use idle. I think I'll do that here. Let me see. You can also use you can also use idle like this. All right, this also another Python. You can also use Jupyter Notebook. It's all up to you at this point. All right, so just make sure you have Python open on your system. That's all that you need to do. All right. I think I'll go with this one here. Yeah. Okay. So on the Python environment, let me just say, yeah, on the Python environment, you need to make sure you also know where you will save it. It's very, very important. All right. So you, I mean, where you will save your first A file is very important. All right. So anyway, we'll go through all of them. So let's start. So First of all, you need to import your BioPython package. So I will say from bio import seek.io. And by the way, if you don't have the BioPython package installed, then you need to make sure you have installed it on your PC. All right. So I have to tutorial that show how to install Python packages. So check the description box and you'll find uh, the links to those videos. All right. So to install, the quickest way is to use pip. I'll show you one here. Let me just open my terminal here. So you can just say pip install, and then you give BioPython. All right. So this package is what we are using. On a Linux system, if you don't have root access, you can add this dash dash user to it. That will also work fine for you. So you can do this or you can also use Conda to install. That's up to you. But just make sure to have the BioPython package installed and you'll be able to follow this tutorial. So let's proceed. All right. And then I'll proceed to gets the file, the GenBank file. So the GenBank file, let me just go back here. This is mine, by the way. So I'll need to specify a path, the path to this GenBank file here. I need to specify the entire path. 
All right, so you need to know where your Jimban file can be found. It's very important. And then you can open it. So I'll go back to idle. And then I'll say Jimban file equals. And then I'll paste it there. All right, so this is the path to my Jimban file. All right, this is the path. Uh, the name here is long, I mean the file name, but uh, you can still manage it or you can also rename it to make it shorter. That's also up to you, but I will leave it as it is. All right, so now that I have it done, I will also specify an output file. So I'll say output file equals, and the output file, I'll also save it in the same directory as this Jimbang file here. So mine will be slash home slash this. And then I'll say, let's say, mtb.fastA. All right, so let's say. So this will be my file name. All right, this is the file name, but I'm saving it in this directory. So this is the full path. I want it to be saved in the same directory as this one here. Okay. So after doing this, then I'll use my seek IO to do the conversion. So I'll say seek IO dot convert. All right. And then I'll give the GenBank file. Now specify the format. All right, so we need to first specify the GenBank file and then give a format which has been done. Another command, and then we specify the output file, which is now its output. But we have defined it here. All right, and then you bring your format. Let me do it here. Format like this. Okay, so that means this is the output format, and then we bring up parentheses. So this is it. So Jimbang file, and then your first A file, the output file in this case. So let's execute this command. All right, so we have converted our Jimbang file to a first A format. Now take a look at this number here. This number represents the number of records that have been converted to first a formats so one here indicates that one record was converted so this also means that our jimban file had one record and that is what has been converted to the first a formats it's possible to also convert a multi record jimban file we will look at that very soon all right but for now what i want us to do is to Take a look at our output file. So let's take a look at the output file. So it's also in the same directory as the GenBank file here. So this is it. I can open it. And this is it. So we have our sequence here. It's one sequence because we had just one record in the GenBank file. So this is what we have. Now let's go back to the Python environment. All right, earlier on I made mention of one, that's the record. So it's possible to also convert a multi-record GenBank file. So for that, if you do that, you are going to get a multi a file. So I want us to download an example data and that is a multi-record GenBank file and then we also convert it and see what it looks like basically. So we will look at what it looks like after converting a multi-record GenBank file. So let's go to this GitHub repo of mine, which has the data. So there's a page and I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So use this file here. All right. So to download, click it and you'll be sent to this page. So when you're here, come to this side, this download button here, click it and then you'll be asked to save it. So I'll save it in the same directory as there first in bank file alternatively you can click on raw so when you click on raw 
it will be sent to another page. So when you are sent to this page, you can right click and go to save pages. And then you can also save it. So these are uh, the approaches you can use to get this file. You can also download an item number, but I'll skip that. All right, so I have downloaded mine, do yours and we can proceed. So let's get back to the directory, which has the file. So this is the file. It's called multi records or GBK. This is a dash. So we have multi dash records or GBK. So that's the file. Again, you need to make sure you know the path to this file here. I will copy mine straight away, but I use an approach that works for you. So let's get back to the Python environment. Okay, we are back. So I will define the file name. So I'll say genbank file 2 equals and then I'll paste the file there. I also define the output file. So I'll say output file 2. And this time it's going to be slash home. I'll give the four parts. Which is like this. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. And I will say multi records dot plus a like this. All right, so this is going to be my output file. So this is two two because these are the second group of files. All right, now I'm going to convert it. All right, so I'll use sick arrow again. And I'll say dot convert. I'll bring my gembank file to The format is gembank. Then the output file two. Format is first A. So this is how we do the conversion. Let's make sure that the spellings are correct here. Okay, everything is fine. So let's execute this command. All right, our gembank file has been converted to a first A format. So you can see that the number is now three. This is because three records have been converted. All right, our gembank file here had three records, and it is these records that have been converted to the first A formats. So what we are going to get at the end of the day is a single first A file, which has multiple sequences in them. So uh, this file is a multi first A file. All right, so we are going to take a look at that file soon. But before you do that, let me also say that you can assign this whole operation to a variable. So when you do that, then the number here will be assigned to that variable. Maybe you may want to use the number later on. You can do that. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at the output file. All right, so this is the output file. It's a multi A file, so we can open it. And then we will have our sequences. So we have one sequence here. Let's take a look at the others. I will search for them using this approach. All right, so this is another sequence, this is another sequence. So we have three sequences in all. That's what we have here. Now with the sequences here, it's possible to also separate them. It's possible to save them in different files. That means you are going to get three separate files. It's possible to return. I've covered one such tutorial. You can check the video out. The link is in the description box. All right. If you also have a challenge, you can also contact me and then we can try to work that out later on. All right. Now let's get back to our Python environment. Now, so far, what we did was to convert single Jambank files, okay, per session. Okay. If you have, let's say, five, six, or maybe 10 or let's say hundreds of Jimbang files and you want to convert them to first A formats, then you have to use a loop to do that. So you can do something like this for all in files and then you add your other commands. And I've covered one such two on that. So check the description box, you'll find a link to that video. You can also contact me 
and then you can try to work it out for you all right now aside this tutorial there are other tutorials that i've made on python for bioinformatics so you can check the playlist here i have a playlist for beginners i also have a playlist for intermediate so just check this playlist and you are going to find what you need to help you learn python so i'll see you in the next session